as you've heard, welcome to Pikmin 3 Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch. This was originally a game on the Wii U, but now freshly ported over to the Switch. I'm super excited for this one because I've never played a Pikmin game before. I've honestly not known too much about it. I know that they're super cute, but also really pretty. Like, look at this menu screen. Looks awesome. So I'm really excited to get into this, and hopefully if you guys enjoy it, maybe we could go back and play the other two Pikmin games as well. But for right now, let's get started with Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Galactic Date 20XX At the far reaches of space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. The planet's name? Kopai. Due to a booming population, booming appetites, and a basic lack of planning, Kopai's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Oh no. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. Just as they're about to give up, the final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. Oh, let's go get some dinner. They mobilize to investigate the planet, which they name PNF-404. Kopai's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. None of those were Olimar, though. Huh. Is this a game not have Olimar in it? Oh, look at this go. This is so cool. Zooming around space and stuff. At last, the explorer's 279,000 light year voyage nears its end. But, as they initiate the landing sequence, something goes horribly wrong. Oh no! Are they gonna be okay? I hope they made it. That was a big crash. Wow! Okay, they're burning up in the atmosphere. Hopefully they're like in escape pods or something. Whoa! Pikmin 3 Deluxe. That's so cool! So far, the art design of this game, absolutely stunning. Exploration day one, 8.44 a.m. Charlie's crash site. Maybe you don't play his Almar in this game. Oh. What happened? Ah! Oh, they're so cute! So this is Charlie. Oh, huh? You all right, buddy? Oh, it's snowy. Where am I? Last thing I remember was... Oh, of course. This must be PNF 404. Charlie to ship, Charlie to ship. Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? Hello? Anyone? There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew? My crew's on different parts of the planet. And the ship is no more. Captain Charlie. He means business. I managed to escape unscathed, but what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on BNF 404. We've got to find Alf and Brittany. Oh, I remember Alf because he was a, a costume in Smash Bros. <laughs> Only hope they survived. Moving. Move with the L stick. Sure. Well, what's happening? Uh, if you get stuck in story mode, press up to view a strategy hint. You can hide them by going more to more in other settings and setting hint display to off. Press plus to options and view basic information or go to other settings to change controls to your liking. Gotcha. So we have a hint right now, which I'll probably keep on. I'm having a feeling I'm not gonna be very good at this game. If you're watching this for a strategic walkthrough, you might have to go somewhere else, but I'm definitely gonna have fun playing the game as much as possible. Keep moving ahead. Press plus to do everything they just said. Okay, so our goal is to go that way, which we'll do in just a moment. I don't know if there's like collectibles to find, doesn't look like it, so we're just gonna move this way. <laughs> I like his little walk. Huh? What in the? Hey, the little yellow Pikmin are there on the leaves. Uh, hey. Can't like interact with them or anything. There are more of them. Whoa, 
These are some weird mushrooms. Yeah, everything in here in this game is like really tiny. Like we're just so small compared to this big, just like tin can. I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Say that again. Uh, hey guys, why are they coming closer? My whistle scares him off. Uh, time's around it. It did not scare them off. Maybe I should throw them. Oh, oh hey, get away from me. <laughs> I can't let it end like this. I like, I like Charlie so far. I can throw them using A. I know, I'm, I'm doing it. All right, can I throw them up here? Oh. They don't appear hostile. So let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing at them and pressing B, and then throw them with A. Using the whistle, press B to blow the whistle and call the Pikmin over. Hold B longer to increase the whistle's range. Aim, take aim with L and press A to throw. Interesting. Maybe this, these fellows can be of some use. So like, yeah, we can walk around, but if I wanted to, I can call them all over and then I can start throwing them. I do have to be careful because I sort of like walk forward. Right, that's how it how something. <laughs> Didn't see what he said. But I guess we can destroy all these uh, mushrooms now, which is interesting. And just walk in a big circle and call them all over. Wait, this one still needs some work. There we go. Excellent. I should look around for my crew. It's R to check my surroundings. Whoa, okay, so we can spin the camera around. By pressing ZL, uh, and pressing ZL will let me see what's in front of me. Ah, gotcha. So let's go ahead and grab these other Pikmin. I'm guessing that like that's probably like a big goal of the game, right? Is to finish the level with as many Pikmin as possible or something? I really don't know. I don't know the first thing about Pikmin. So this has been really exciting for me. I've uh, been excited, excitedly waiting for it since it got announced. Oh, there's a bunch of them up there. So we're up to 30 in total now. Wow, what enormous mushrooms. So yeah, I guess we'll eat through these. So I think that there are different color Pikmin and each one has its own different use. What about this? This is too hard to break. All right, come back, come back. But the mar the mushroom, not the marshmallows, are not a problem for us. Ooh, spooky ice cave. Oh, it's not too bad in here. These guys are sure are dedicated. It's cute. Like the little berry over there. So there's no way to like get our character to jump or anything. I don't think this is like technically like a platformer in any way. Whoa, look at these guys. What are those? They look dangerous. Yeah, they got the sharp teeth. Wow, that's bright. So I guess sending out the yellow Pikmin does fight them for us. Whoa. Uh-oh, what was that? Huh? Ah! What happened? Is Charlie okay? That was his name, right? Expiration day one, 8.46 a.m. Alf's crash site. So I guess we get like three stories at once. Yeah, here's Alf crashing. You okay, buddy? Oh, there's the ship. Well, at least it's somewhat in one piece. And at least he's buoyant. It's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. Alf. <laughs> I like his name. Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members, as well as the ship itself. As the ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. Well, then let's get to it. So I'm guessing more of the same thing. Keep going. You may just encounter a rather curious creature. Ooh. Oh, hey, so look, this is the red Pikmin. Hey, the little guy. Ah! What was that? I guess we gotta go find out. Whoa, got a little bit of a dip in the road there. Oh, there's a couple of them. What is that thing flying up there? Looks like a bee or like some kind of vegetable. It appears to, that the specimen I just spotted has company. 
Oh, it's stuck in the tree. I thought it was flying. And what's that stuck in the branch? I'm trying to get it down. Well, let's call you over. Is there any way? Lock onto the red fruit with a ZR. Oh, okay, that's handy. Wow. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get all three of them. Just one at a time. Nice. Whoa, it was beating like a heart. That's so weird. This alien world has many mysteries. And it has noodle legs. I was hoping that it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, the red fellows seem quite pleased now that it's freed. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for those two missing. Looking around. Face forward with a ZL and look around with R. R won't work if the Joy-Con is held sideways. Okay, so you guys wanna follow me? I don't know what this is supposed to be. Hey, they're following me. So we can still look around a little bit if we wanted to. Um, I can't throw it up there again, it doesn't seem. Very weird. Oh, what's this pile of rubble? So maybe I could, yeah, three. What are they doing? Uh, good question. Oh, are they building a bridge? Whoa, look at this, interesting. Oh, got a tablet. My cop pad. Thank goodness I found it. I can use it to locate the SS Drake. Well, there you go. Cool. Now the problem is, how do I get more? I mean, I can maybe, okay, I can just sneak by this. Um, what, what button was the call more over? Right there, so now we have four of them. So that's not enough. I mean, hopefully, maybe that's not saying it needs four, it's just saying, or 12, it's just saying that there's 12 left. So you guys can deliver that over there. That's cool. All right. See, I guess it really is like a real-time strategy game in the way that you control these little Pikmin and you're gonna get them out and doing things. Um, and you're supposed to just sort of manage it all. It's not really about you, the character, doing the action as much as is um, getting them to do it for you. If you don't see it any way forward, look for pieces that, uh, to make a bridge. Yep, we got that. I just wanna read the hint so that I'm sort of like knowingly on the same page. The bridge is almost built. And are they just gonna keep with the cycle? So I don't even have to tell them to do it again. How useful. I appreciate that. So that'll be the bridge finished, just about. Yep. Whoa. Well, actually, I don't know. Ah, there it is. Just had to fall into place. Cool. Wonderful. The bridge is complete. All right, you guys, come with me. And I guess we'll go check out our cop pad. I guess this is sort of supposed to look like the Wii U gamepad. You know, this game originally came out on the Wii U. Map data loading. Whoa, it's a map. Great, it still works. Of course, I'd expect nothing less from Kapatite Engineering. Or Kapite Engineering, because it's Kapai, yeah. I'll check out my surroundings by scrolling through the Kapad screen. Using the radar, number one. Use the left analog stick to check your surroundings. Where's the Drake? Um, over here? Okay, here we go. Aha, the SS Drake isn't that far from here. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I'd best head in that direction. Well, the least, hopefully they'll have their own pads and they can use that to get closer. Now we can start exploring with the help of the cop pad. Use the radar to check the map and the camera to take photos. Using the camera. Activate the camera via the cop pad to snap a photo. Uh, okay. For right now, I'm not really too worried about that. Is that red thing food? Yeah, let's lock onto that and throw over some stuff. Cool. All right, so they're going to, oh, they're bringing it back over to that thing. Is this gonna, wait, wait, why didn't you? Oh, okay, there was only three of them, that's why. Interesting. I, I have a feeling that, I, I think it's gonna feed this and give us a Pikmin, right? I <laughs> guy's dragging it like that. Yeah, there we go, so this is how Pikmin are born. And they grow out of the ground. That thing is popping out some sort of sprouts. And can we call them over? Wakey, wakey. Uh, maybe they're still growing. Okay, well, while we're waiting for that, should we take a look around, maybe? Oh, hints. Get more red Pikmin by harvesting pellets and creatures. Sure. Use ZL or R to check your surroundings carefully. R won't work if you're on, okay, yeah, we know. Oh, 
What is this enormous, mor enormous thing? The drake must be somewhere on the other side of it. We need 20 of them. Okay, guys, now let's get over here. Oh, we got another one over here. Whoa, ah! No, come on. Yep, you guys. We got these little grubs. Sort of creepy, but it looks like our Pikmin do a pretty good job of beating them up. I gotta be careful, though. I don't have any, like, ability to fight. Oh, look at the little ghosts. Whoa, wait, they're picking them up. Oh, that's so weird. Here you go. Yeah, go for it. So they can feed the grubs to this as well. See, I guess there's a lot of bugs and creepy crawly crawlies in this game. If you mind that, you might not like this series very much. I'm so sorry, but don't worry, we're playing other games too. Okay, so more of these guys are growing up. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, sorry. Didn't mean to cut you off. They do take a while to grow them. All right. There's another one. And once again, it's just not. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> Stop sleeping! There's probably more to do over there, though. It looked like it to me. Oh, yeah, we have that one. And then up here we have another. How many does this? This needs five. Oh. Okay. Then let's just focus on this one for now. Wait, does it need? Why does it say three? Will they help? Oh, they can move it like extra fast. Go on, help out. Okay, maybe a little too late for them. Interesting. So let's let's let them bring this over. Then we have like this whole little party. Now what? And that made two more. Oh, I can pluck them. Okay, I was I was so confused. Hey, little guy. Red Pikmin. I love them. They're so goofy. Ah, I see. So this is how these little creatures propagate. How incredibly fascinating. Plucking number one. Press A to pluck nearby Pikmin sprouts. Press B to cancel. Sure. So yeah, we'll go ahead and, oh, so I can just let it sort of do its own thing. I'm not even pressing any buttons right now. This is just a game playing for me. So now we have 16 in total, that's great. Because we can run all the way back over there and grab the next thing, which was one that would require five of them at the minimum. But maybe it's just like, oh gosh, I've fallen, I've fallen. Not what I wanted. Um, this one's huge, I know, right? So if we put the whole party on there, or as many as it allows, which it seems to be 10. There. Just making sure I got all my Pikmin back before I, uh, Follow over here, because I don't want to lose any. Yeah, I guess it'll tell me in the bottom right. It says I have six in my squad, but 16 on the field. I need to do something about that thing that's in the way. I know I'm working on it, we needed 20, right? So hopefully this gives me the remaining four I needed. I'd appreciate it if that's the case. And... Okay, so yeah, it's gonna make, I guess whatever the thing says it'll make. Uh, the little pellet, so that said five. So there we go, we got 20 in total. Actually, 21 in total. Nice, we have an extra. Because we only needed 20 for this box over here. So I guess they gave us room to make a mistake or something. Um, so I can't just like hold, I have to tap it repeatedly. Um, there. Or I, maybe maybe I count as one? No, no, the Pikmin's there. I got a little confused. All right, well, they're pushing it. And it says on the box, 20. Whoa, what is that thing? What's that? Looks like a holographic page. It looks like someone's left a data file here. Perhaps the cop pad will be able to read it. Ta-da! Pikminology number one. The onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. It both gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. So it's an onion. Gotcha. Excellent. The cop pad can read the data file. So these creatures are called Pikmin? This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the cop pad's exploration notes. All right, so we're installing it. Fancy. Exploration notes. So can I just go over and read that now? I guess I could have. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file. So who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? I mean, the pigments seem pretty intelligent to me. They listen to what you say. Here we go, so we can bring it the cop pad, we can learn more about Pikmin behavior, we can learn more about the controls here, pretty cool. But I guess we're good to move forward for right now. 
Um, yeah, there's not really much more I can do with the box. And we're just following this path. According to the radar, the Drake should be through here. Whoa, spooky cave. And we get another data file using the radar number two. Change the radar's orientation in other settings in the options menu. That's cool and everything. Actually, maybe I want to do that. Wow, those things are massive. I don't know what, what else he said there. But um, I don't like how the camera doesn't move relative or the, the uh, map down there doesn't move relative to the camera. I think that's what I want. Actually, no, I had it the way I preferred. I just, I never know until I try. Yeah, I guess it, no, no, yeah, that's right. I do prefer it this way. Well, now I know. <laughs> I was getting confused which one I actually like more until I try it. Okay. Um. So let's go ahead and grab some of that. I guess it would be worth a while to destroy all these mushrooms, right? Doesn't seem like it could hurt. So far we haven't like gotten anything for it, so. But hey, maybe there's like some bonus we get for destroying everything. Some kind of is like level of diligence required, right? What about, oh, these glowy mushrooms? Oh, that's like a big sand castle wall on the way. Who built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life? Now would be a good time to press X to perform a charge attack. Okay, charge. Whoa, charge forward! Oh, that's so cool, they all just go wild on it. So that sends all, every single one of them forward. That's crazy. Nice. My crew I, w could learn a lot from this, this kind of teamwork. I guess so. I hope the Drake is okay. Hello? Ah, oh, there's the ship. There it is, the SS Drake. The cop hat isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? Huh? Oh, we're getting a call. Incoming transmission. Who could it be? All this fancy technology and they don't have caller ID. Alf, it's me, Brittany. Do you have a copy? Or do, do you copy? <laughs> Thank goodness. You're with the SS, the SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm starv- Oh, she's starving. Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. At least for now, before she's too hungry. Gotta get her some food. What's that strange sound? Uh-oh. The sun is setting, which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. Maybe we should go into the ship for safety? I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. Uh-oh. Not good. Whoa, we just zoom in there. What happened to all the little Pikmin though? We're just gonna leave them behind? Well, we can have a little sleepover with them. Whoa, we're actually just leaving. So we're just gonna hang out in like the atmosphere of the planet and that's so interesting. Whoa, ho, ho. Get a nice view from up here. Oh, there's the onion. Whoa, this game is so pretty, I love it. Most of the supplies we brought with us from Kapai were destroyed in the crash landing. So we now only have three days worth of edible provisions left. Oh no, hopefully we can get more soon. We just ate one. We gotta give her to Brittany and give her one. Starting tomorrow, I'll have to find some local food. Day one. So it looks like we did complete day one there. New Horizons clear the first day on PNF 404. Using the radar number three, review the replay with the button there to fine tune your strategy. Now that's cool, so if we wanted to replay through the level we could. What's this? Okay, these are our badges, so I guess we'll unlock more of these as we go forward. And I guess we have our rank, so like all of our badge rankings. Cool. 
So that was a fantastic first impression for the game. I think we'll probably do one day per episode, so that'll probably keep it nice and fun with the pacing. But yeah, we got to play as Alf and Charlie there as we crash land on PNF. 404. Hopefully Brittany and Charlie will be okay as well, but it'll be up for Alf to go and get some more rations and stuff along the way in the next episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.